I'm actually there. So cool, silence. Dear Crazy Chris, how does my VR headset work? Not only am I gonna answer that, but I'm also gonna show you three wicked cool tricks that you can do right at home that I think are as cool as a kid boxing a kangaroo. You will need a pop bottle, a piece of paper, and a marking pen. You wanna fill it with water, but it doesn't have to be a whole bottle of water. Yeah, that's right, I went down that rabbit hole. Get yourself a sheet of paper and a marking pen. You want to draw arrows that are exactly identical, one over the other. Make sure they're exactly identical. You know why? Because you don't want any bull on your sheet of paper. Bullshit! Do the arrows look like they're pointing left? Right! Because they're actually pointing right, right? Do these arrows look bigger, smaller? Well, actually, they're exactly the same size. All right, so are the arrows lined up or are they off center? They are actually lined up. Check this out. Off center. Left. Bigger. Now that is so wicked cool. All we did was use this water right here to change the shape, size, and orientation of the arrows in front of you. Now that is so wicked cool. Okay, so how do these water tricks work like your VR headset? <laughs> it's like I'm actually there. Well, here's a virtual world you might want to take a closer look at your VR headset, two things are going on here. If you held your phone up to your eyes, light wouldn't have time to cross, and thus the image on the phone will be out of focus. We can fix that by adding a thick, curved lens, which will slow the light down enough to cause the light to cross. We don't just want a large, clear image. We want that image to appear as though it's at a realistic distance. So we add another, second, curved, thinner lens this time, which bends the light enough to make the image on your phone appear further than its real location. There are two reasons why light bends when traveling through liquids or solids. First, photons are moving so fast that they have tremendous amount of energy. So much energy that when they smack into an atom, they transfer some of that energy to the atom, which in turn releases their own photon. Second, they're going to hit the atoms at an angle. Those atoms will hit the atoms next to them at an angle, creating a domino effect in the atoms. When those atoms pass their energy back into the air, they're going to hit the air molecules at an angle. And it's why we say that light bends, making things appear larger, off-center, or inverted. You know, being able to use refraction so you can hang out in a virtual world is why science is so cool. <laughs> oh, yeah!